All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about the most dangerous knife that you can own. And I can guarantee you that it will probably leave some of you surprised. And the real reason why that is, is because the most dangerous knife you can own isn't some scary OTF or out the front, you know, switchblade. It's not some scary gravity knife that can open up and, you know, has two edges that can cut you in all the right places. Honestly, I think the most dangerous knife has to be a slip joint pocket knife like these. And the real reason is multiple, multiple points, I would say. I think the first point is, is that oftentimes with a lot of these knives, these slip jointed, you know, kind of old school traditional folders, they are very slim, they're very slick, and that leads to a lot of poor ergonomics when it comes to opening these knives. I cannot actually tell you how many times I have genuinely like actually cut myself trying to open this pocket carver by GEC. Now, it's a pretty comfortable knife when you have it opened and you know you're using it, but the fact of opening it because these blades are so furrowed in their handles because you have to use a nail Nick, and you know this is a very slick like Delrin and honestly like a lot of these knives a lot of these um, slip jointed knives and multi-tools like the Swiss Army knife are pretty slick like even this Alox handle is not that traction or doesn't have that much traction to it like just going back to this you know evil or scary switchblade like this thing has a tri-grip pattern of milled aluminum like this genuinely digs into you like you aren't gonna have good traction with this so I think it's kind of funny when some people you know like look at this you know evil OTF and they think oh it's so scary it's so you know it's gonna bite me it's gonna do something but honestly it is more safe I have not ever cut myself with this knife I have cut myself at least three times with this knife just opening it so keep that in mind so the first reason why I think slip jointed knives like these are dangerous is because of the poor ergonomics to opening I think the other point that is fairly obvious um, when it comes to most slip jointed knives is the fact that well there's no locking mechanism it means you can push this thing in on you now most good slip joints do have a really strong half stop like you can see with this GEC so hopefully if you put too much tension it would just come back to this point and it wouldn't close fully in on your fingers unless you committed to it but um, that being said it still could happen because there is no locking mechanism and you know accidents do happen and I cannot tell you in the YouTube short that I made genuinely like if you don't believe me if you don't want to take my word I made a YouTube short and there are countless comments of people saying yeah I cut my finger really bad I had to get stitches and you know on and on and on so many people were chiming in in the comment section you know relating to the fact that yeah slip joints have cut them a bunch of times too so I'm not definitely the only one having this experience. I think to the last kind of point before we really summarize it all too is the fact that slip joints oftentimes create a sense of false um, security. I think a lot of times people let their guard down with slip jointed knives because they think, oh, you know, this is a little boy scout knife, right? Like this is the same knife I used when I was a boy scout. So clearly what could go wrong, you know? And so I think oftentimes, and once again, this is another point that I saw within myself and in a lot of comments in the YouTube short that I did uh, of a similar title of this video is that you know you really when you're using something that's a slip joint because most of these knives are so utilitarian in their you know design their features and how they work a lot of people honestly let their guard down when they use these types of knives once again when you're using something like a double-edged gravity knife you're aware that there's this top you know sharpened edge you're aware that there's this you know normal edge here so you're I feel like most people are you know a little bit more aware a little bit more respectful at least within their own mind for their own preservation when it comes to a knife like this or once again even this double-edged you know OTF um, you know they you know you're aware that you have this sharpened top edge so you become a little bit more uh, mindful of it whereas you know when you pick up something like a Swiss Army knife you're like oh you know this is something that I used when I was a Boy Scout no big deal until you know bam you know you press this thing in just a little bit too hard 
it just comes down on, on your fingers. And so I think that is a, a, another big point that um, causes people to honestly get nicked, get bit, and get cut by slip joint knives. And for those reasons, those primary three reasons, the fact that they have poor opening ergonomics, especially traditional folders, like this thing, in my opinion, has the, like some of the worst, like most traditional folders have some of the worst opening ergonomics uh, because they have such thin, you know, bodies to them. And so it's a very slim, compact, pocket-friendly package until you try to open it and you realize, you know, you have about like half inch, three quarter inch, you know, of a handle to try to grip onto and that handle is polished and slippery. And like, honestly, if this thing was wet, I could not imagine trying to open it because you're also fighting when you open a slip joint, you're fighting that back spring. So this whole you can see this whole solid piece of metal right here. This is the back spring to this slip joint. You can see how it raises up as we lift the slip joint out. And so you're fighting that back spring tension while you're opening this knife. And so you're fighting that back spring tension, unlike on something like a gravity knife where there's actually no tension on the blade, you're just swinging it open. On this, you're actively fighting that spring that whole time you're opening and closing it. So that makes it even more dangerous or even more important to note why you need good opening ergonomics. You're having to fight the weight of that lock spring or that spring bar that entire time you're opening and closing the knife. So very important things to know about slip joints. And I wanted to do this video because my YouTube short was, was pretty popular, but I feel like there was a lot of people in the comment section below, like saying that I was just wrong. So I thought, you know, let's make a whole video really digging into, instead of just telling you why this, or telling you that this is a dangerous knife, like let's break it down and really talk about what, what makes slip joints. Like why are they so dangerous. And so I think that these are like the three core points and kind of really buffing them up as to, you know, like why these guys are dangerous, right? Like what makes a slip joint, especially a traditional folder, so inherently not user friendly. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, this breakdown and explanation of slip joints. Now, like I said, as you can clearly see here, you know, I own slip joints. I own a little bit of everything, ballast songs, gravity knives, OTFs, you know, and more traditional folders and stuff. But, you know, uh, I think that these are just fine and they have their use, their application and time. And certainly I do like how thin and compact a lot of these um, traditional folders are, but they are not without their faults. And that's why, honestly, I don't tend to EDC these types of knives that frequently is not because of the non-locking features. It's that most times these knives are not very user friendly. And, you know, I have a large enough knife collection where if I want something Thing that's very user friendly. I can just go grab a paramilitary two. As you can see, very easy to open and close most of the time as it's making a liar out of me. But you know, very easy to open and close, really no problems with it, right? So if I have knives that are very user friendly, why am I going to intentionally set myself up for failure with a slip jointed knife? Anyways, guys, that's my opinion and kind of thought process as to why slip joints are dangerous. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless and I'm out.